Hey guys, today is all about this simple DIY bath bomb. So, uh, stay tuned. As we proceed to give you what you need. All right, you're gonna start off with two cups of baking soda, one cup of citric acid, one cup of Epsom salt, one cup of cornstarch, five teaspoons of coconut oil, you're gonna melt that, one and a half teaspoons of water, four teaspoons of fragrance, if you're using essential oil, it might be a little less, and an optional color. You will definitely need a spray bottle with water, in your mold. I'm using snap ornaments purchased at Hobby Lobby. You're going to need a cupcake pan and a clean kitchen towel. This is how you're going to store your finished bath bombs. All right, with all of my dry ingredients in one large container, you guys can be really messy, but you're going to want to mix it really well and make sure there's no lumps and all of that good stuff. I'm adding in my four teaspoons of fragrance my five teaspoons of coconut oil and my first 20 drops of my color. You're gonna mix that really well and then you're going to slowly pour it into your dry mixture. Now the oils aren't going to cause much of a reaction but the color additive in the water is. So you're gonna simply pour it in. It's gonna fizz just a little but you're just gonna mix around the powder to stop it and you're gonna blend that in. As I'm blending, I'm starting to realize the color just isn't as mm, opaque as I would like it to be. So I'm going to mix that in really well, and then I'm going to add another 20 plus drops of color. Alright, now I'm going to mix that color in, and I'm just really eyeing to see if this is the color that I want my boss to be, and of course it wasn't, so I'm adding another 27 drops of color, and I'm mixing it again. Now that I got my desired color, I'm going to really focus on the consistency of this dry product. It's very important that the consistency is right, or the bombs won't form when you put them inside the mold. So I'm simply going to spray the water on the mixture, and I'm doing a couple of sprays each time. The reason why I use a spray bottle is because it distributes the water in a light form, which causes less reaction with the baking soda and citric acid, because you want that reaction when you drop your bath bomb into your bath. Now, each time that I'm spraying water, I'm simply just filling and gathering the dry material in my hands to see if it's really gonna stay connected. By doing that, I'm able to gauge and decide if it's ready to go into the mold. You're just going to continue to do that until you're ready to put it into the mold and you get the consistency of a damp sand. Alright, I think I'm finally starting to get there. I'm starting to see that the dry product is starting to mold a lot easier, but you know I'm still going to work with it because I definitely do not want my bath bombs to dry out and crumble. So uh, yeah, just take your time. Alright, now here's the fun part. You're going to take one half of your ornament container and then the other half and you're going to overfill them. And you're basically just going to squeeze them together, removing all excess powder from the remainder of the ornament. Here comes the first true test. Did I mix this correctly? Ah, wow, look how beautiful that turned out. Alright, no more spending $7 at Lush for a bath bomb. I am now the bath bomb queen, honey. You can't tell me anything. So simply overfill your container, squeeze it together, remove the excess powder, and repeat. I was able to get five medium-sized bath bombs and one small bath bomb from this mixture. Once all the bombs are made, you're going to simply set it inside of the cupcake pan with the kitchen towel over it. You're going to let it sit there for 24 hours so that the moisture can dry up and you can have a harder, consistent bath bomb. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. You guys, it was so fun to make these and you're literally saving pennies to the dollars on these. So uh, let's get to making bath bombs and enjoying our soak in the tub. All right guys, make sure you check out the other two videos in this series. I'm doing a video on DIY exfoliating and lotion body butter bars and a video on DIY salt scrubs. So uh, see you guys there. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.